Think you know which way it's going to go? You should head on over to Sports Interaction. When the puck drops, Sports Interaction has you covered. Uh, live in play. Live in play. But pregame. Uh, pregame. Live and in player on one of their many prop bets. I wasn't ready. On all major sports and prop bets. Want to bet? Sportsinteraction.com slash STPN. 19 plus. Please pay responsibly. I'm keeping them on their toes. The Leafs also made a trade yesterday what? immediately after we finished recording the podcast <laughs> in which we said, I don't think the Leafs are going to make a trade here. The defense isn't that bad. It's thin, but it's not that bad. And it's the trade everyone guessed. Everybody had their eyes on Connor Timmons, who was a former Sioux Greyhound, was Rasmus Sandin's defense partner, uh, and has had his career amp- hamper- hampered by injury. He was um, actually a second round pick of the Avalanche. Mm-hmm. He's played 41 games, 12 games in the playoffs, too, which is valuable. But concussion in his first year, which held him out for a whole year. Yep. I think he's had some surgeries, and he's played his conditioning stint in Tucson. He's 24 years old. What do they actually have? Yeah. So, what is this? A concussion held him out of his uh, final year in junior. Mm -hmm. Um, He had a a knee injury that held him out a long time and his conditioning stint was an upper body injury. I don't uh, uh, Shoulder, maybe? Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, what you have here is a reclamation project, uh, for sure. Um, The Coyotes were going to waive him. Uh, There's a couple things there. The Coyotes were pretty sure he was going to get claimed. And if he would have got claimed, it wouldn't have been the Leafs who got him because they're way too far down the waiver wire priority list, mm-hmm. right? So if a team lower in the standings, then the Leafs puts a claim on him, that's who gets him. So if the Buffalo Sabres make a claim and the Leafs make a claim, the Sabres get him. How did the Leafs get away with only getting, only giving up Curtis Douglas for him? I don't know. Because the, the, the speculation was it was going to be a, a draft pick, a third or a fourth rounder. Yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, well, okay. So the Leafs literally cannot make that happen. Yeah. Because they're at 50 <laughs> contract slots. Uh, so they can't give up a draft pick. Yeah, Interesting. They, <laughs> okay. They can't do it. From from an asset standpoint, uh, like let's say Curtis Douglas turns into something, right? And Dubas, oh, you big dummy, looks mm-hmm. like an idiot. This was a free agent signing who the Dallas Stars let go. So if the Leafs let him go, it wouldn't be the first team. Right. Um, Stars picked him, I want to say, in the fourth round. And why not? Mm-hmm. Why not? He's six foot nine, two forty two. He's a monster of a man. He's also got zero goals, one assist, and thirty penalty minutes in thirteen AHL games. So Let's people, see. people are pissed. I there, I saw some Twitter scuttle about uh, comparison because he's so big, mm-hmm. right? He's like six seven, was it? Six nine. Six, six nine. nine uh, sorry, he's he's. Probably the biggest professional hockey player in the world. So there were people who were like, well, this was probably another Mason Marchment deal. By the way, Mason Marchment. It could be. I mean, it could be, but Mason Marchment scored 27 goals his his entire career. Everybody needs to chill out. Oh, Mason Marchment, that other guy who was undrafted and a free agent who the Leafs took into their minor league system and developed. And and traded for an asset. Uh, Admittedly, maybe they, on balance, haven't won that trade, but... No, they haven't, but like... Okay, you don't like losing Mason Marchman. Well, they signed him as a AHL free agent. Well, okay, you don't like losing Trevor Moore. There's another guy Dubas found as an AHL free agent. You don't like losing Curtis Douglas, potentially. There's another guy Dubas found as an AHL And what did he turn all those agent. into? Assets for the Toronto Maple Leafs. And if he had his way, if the legends are to be believed, another guy Dubas badly, badly wanted and couldn't pull off was Yanni Gord. Oh, that would have been great. Who was another guy who I believe was undrafted. He worked his way through the Tampa system. What what kind of player is is Connor Timmons? I know he's a right-handed shot, which is really valuable to the Leafs. Um, he would be depth. And the thing is, is that, you know, if everybody comes back healthy and they won't, because I don't think Muzzin's going to be back, even though he's a left shot, you're going to have room for Timmons on the roster. Um, right shot defenseman. He's going to be your 5'6 guy. What is he? Uh, is he a big hitting guy? Is he a move the puck guy? What does he do? He, I think he's a move the puck guy um, because even though his NHL numbers are real skinned, uh, he doesn't put up numbers. Uh, in the AHL, he does. And in the OHL, he did. Um, he's on Team Canada? I mean, Joe Sackick wanted him bad enough to spend a second rounder on him. That should be a pretty good indicator that he was good. Um, the problem with him is, uh, we have no idea what he is because he's missed so much time and we need to see what his body can do. Um, he's six foot two. He's over 200 pounds. 
That's good. He's a living, breathing human being who plays hockey on defense as his profession, who shoots right-handed. That makes him very appealing for the Leafs. Um, so in the short term, he's a guy who could play on your NHL roster and be adequate. His fancies with Colorado and his full season were fine. Um, problem is the guy hasn't played, man. The guy hasn't played. Mm. Um, so here's, here's why they needed to make a trade for somebody, right? So they called up, uh, Victor Mete and they called up Mac Hollowell. Mac Hollowell played his first NHL game. I love the story. Let's be honest. He probably, I don't think he should be playing NHL games. All right. I don't, he probably shouldn't be playing. He could NHL be out games. there. Yeah. He, yeah, he could be out there. <laughs> he can be guy. Yeah. He could be warm body. He can be guy. Um, what I am trying to look for right now is the, uh, here it is. Here's the Marley's defense from their last game. Rafai, Mete, Kokinen, Hollowell, Petroniero, Rindell. So if you don't know who those players are, let me run you through it. <laughs> AHL contract, Victor Mete, who's up with the Leafs. Mm -hmm. Guy who's uh, playing his first professional hockey in North America. Guy who's up with the Leafs. Guy who's on an AHL contract. Guy who's playing his first professional hockey in North America. <laughs> Kokinen and Rindell have both played in the ECHL this year. Rafai is not eligible to be signed because they're at their maximum or called up, and neither is Petra Nero. Uh, they're getting very close to literally not having anyone they can call up <laughs> because they have so many injuries. Um, and like you don't want to be throwing Kokinen and, no. and Rindell to the Wolves. Um, so they needed a guy. My only issue... Mm -hmm. With this move, when you brought it up, Adam, I shook my head because of how damn predictable it was. Kyle Dubas goes after another guy who he worked with in the Sioux, who mm -hmm. was under him in the Sioux Greyhounds, and he brought him to Toronto. I was just how many? Are you, okay, rather, now rewind the, the show argument again. to that. The argument to that is he. These are the guys he knows best. So why wouldn't he ride with the guys he knows best? He, there his, are other guys in the league. There are. But his success rate is like Pretty unusually good. high. Pretty good. <laughs> it is with guy these guys. It is. Okay. Listen, Nick Ritchie didn't work. That was bad. Yeah. Jack Campbell worked. That was good. Yes. Michael Bunting worked. Jack Campbell worked that until it didn't. Man, I yeah. honestly, Jesse, I got the I said the same thing last year too, because I have questions about it, and I'm with you. I, I agree <laughs> with you. I I I think and I got a lot of shit actually for it on, on Twitter after this I said lovable. it. What Dubas? Oh, I thought you were talking about Campbell. No, no, I wasn't talking about Campbell. No, I've always not... been a, no, I'm talking about Dubas yeah. and the and the Greyhounds thing. Oh. I think I think <sighs> when you're only going after the one thing, the all the results you're gonna get are from that one thing. If you never look outside of the box, we can never know if that would be a more successful path. I think people are being very odd about the Greyhounds thing and being very protective of Dubas for no good reason. Um, you mean odd in defending it? Yes, odd yes. in defending it. Yes. Um, because this isn't, I'm not saying getting Connor Timmons is bad because he's a greyhound. That would be small minded and dumb. Um, and not, but there are a lot of people out there who would say that. And right. that's small minded and dumb. Yeah. There's a lot of people who would say purple is blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, dude, uh, yeah, don't look up. <laughs> there's too many people. There's too many people. Oh, I bet people say it, you're probably right. Yeah. <laughs> There's too many people. You know what? The show should have been people say the darndest things. <laughs> people <laughs> right? say the darndest sure. things. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, but F finish your point. But continuing on with that. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, yeah, it's, I don't, I think, a, and okay, not nobody, but an extraordinarily small amount of people are saying this move stinks because he's a greyhound. <laughs> That's wrong. No, that's not. That's okay. But continue your point, which was you think people are being extremely protective of Dubas and maybe perhaps they don't need to be what? for the Greyhound thing. All you need to do is focused on what's right and wrong. Uh, focus on. Is, are you right? But are, is, is Jesse right to question the constant Greyhound connection? Yeah. But 
then we we go okay let's you, look at like, the results i look at every move in a vacuum right and i look at this move and i go okay if timmons had never played for the greyhounds would this bet make sense i think it does the leafs have had pretty good success with reclamation projects mm -hmm. Um, the one that immediately came to mind for me, even though he's a forward is Tyler Ennis. Like that dude was washed. Like he wasn't going to play in the league. I don't know if he has a team this year, but his stint with the Leafs was good enough to keep him in the league for another few years. Mm -hmm. Right. He played with the Oilers last year. I think he was with the Sens for a year or two. He was good enough with the league. He scored a hat trick against Calgary. Mm -hmm. That was cool. Uh, Andre Kasha last year, unfortunately, that appears to be ending rather unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, that's um, a bummer. But he played well. He did. Yeah, he, post I mean, Toronto, Ennis played for Ottawa, Edmonton, Ottawa. Right? They've taken some really injury-prone guys. Hey, here's an injury-prone guy who's playing really well, really well for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Matt Murray. He, so far. The asterisk is he missed a month. <laughs> But yep. he's looking great. <laughs> I just I I wonder because one thing kind of is always said about Dubas, Steve. You say it a lot, and the Toronto Maple Leafs as a whole is they're so process oriented. Mm -hmm. Everything is mm -hmm. about the process. We stick to this and we go through it. And I question. Okay, this process has reduced produced results at let's say five to one. You know, and I wonder if you swerve from the process a little and you go away from just the guys you know, could you get? A seven to one occasionally. Maybe you'll get a three to one instead. I'm talking about the results that they get. You know, right. could you get a higher end result if you went after Vili Huso instead of Matt Murray? Would your results have been better? You know, instead of going after the guy guy you know, you Vili Huso. I don't know. He's he's just a good goaltender. They weren't who's been interested really in well. Billy Huso. They he's wanted Mark Andre he's Fleury. Just, he's just a good goaltender who's been playing well. But yeah. Murray so, looks great. He does. Yeah, I, I bet but he's, he's also been out for a month. Than stupid Vili Husso. Mm -hmm. Vili Husso has been amazing. I think he has three shutouts in like. Uh, I think he's week. more like Vili Puso. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Uh, Vili Husso. Three shutouts? No, no, it's under reviewed. No, none of them count. <laughs> <laughs> it's under reviewed. So none of them I, count. I think it's fair when they keep doing the same thing over and over. I'm just like, what if one time you mi you mixed it up a little and you got a better result? <laughs>